Hello antique fans and welcome to my ch antique channel. My name is Deanna and I'm the owner of Vintage Touch Antiques. We have another month, new month upon us now. Actually we're into the third day of this new month, March 2017. But I like to share with my viewers and customers and enthusiasts the things that I've been selling. And I try to do that by sharing what I have featured on my web page during the previous month that has sold. And so that's what I have up here right now on my web page is the album that shows what pieces that were featured here did sell in February 2017. Now... I have things that are in a wide variety of price ranges. I don't have just my more uh, expensive items featured. I feature things from all price ranges in many different categories so that if you come to my webpage to check out some of the things that I might currently have on display in my antique booth, you'll be able to see a variety of things, like I said, from a variety of price points. So let's just get into what's been selling because I did sell a lot more of featured items this month, this past month, than what I did in January. And the first item that I'm going to show you are these little infant shoes. They were like the little black and white spectator style of infant shoes with the button straps, a double button strap in fact, and those sold for $25. The next piece, this is an all pottery bucket or crock, you might call it, with the bale there and the wood handle hold. It just measured four and a half inches high. And that piece, it did have some aging and wonderful um, aging there on it and modeling, but um, that goes with the territory when you're talking about antiques. And that piece sold for $25. This was a very nice spongeware, yellowware piece. This was a pitcher, and that was also four and a quarter inches tall. That would have been such a wonderful piece to add to your early china and pottery collection. That one was priced at $13. Now this was a German, and you can see the name here. I'm not going to try to pronounce that, but I did do some research on this cup and saucer, and it dated from 1888 to 1920, and that piece sold for $15. Now this was uh, shown in one of my haul videos, I think, maybe even New Arrivals, and this one was a fluter, which is a piece very heavy cast iron base that had the patent date on the bottom of that of 1866. And this uh, laundry piece was used to put the pleats into collars of um, the clothes back in that time period. And that was priced at $37. And this was an early wood handled wire whisk. As you can see all the different wires there. And that would use to beat batter or something like that, and that one sold for $9. Now this was a little tin bud vase, and I just had a little plastic flower stuck in it there. But it was a five and three quarter inch high um, tin. You can see the embossing there on the base of that. Very simplistic, and, and, and that's what primitive and country lovers really enjoy. And that piece sold for $9. This was a very early pen cushion. This was in velvet and satin. It was a pillow shaped, a six and a half by six and a half square. And this was a hard straw stuffed, straw um, stuffed pen cushion. That one sold for $18. I really like that because I like the old straw stuffed pen cushion. Now this was a Dietz Barn Lantern. I all in. Incidentally, if you go to my space for a lantern, the uh, fill cap that's on the lanterns, I usually always have in my locked showcase. So you'll have to get one of the um, clerks there to help you get that out because unfortunately they get taken. So 
that is just for those who may be interested in a lantern in the future. But this lantern did sell for $29. And this, it had a lot of wear to it, but it was a very early uh, red paper, red paper, red pepper spice tin. It had that uh, early dispense top there. It was, um, the name on that was Batavia. You can see it right here but it's not very clear. That one sold for $9. And this is a four blade cast iron handle here, dough cutter. That would have been used in your butter bowls and things to cut uh, dough or on your cutting board. And that one sold for $12. This was up there with my Valentine display, and I did show this in one of my other videos when I found it. And this was just a little, very pretty collar uh, there, a satin candy box with the cameo decoration. And that was just priced at $5, and someone got a real good deal there. Now this is a 30-inch long infant dress or slip because it's sleeveless it could have been worn under another dress or it could have been worn as a little sundress and that piece I did have for a while and I reduced it to twenty dollars and that piece sold this in this past month now this was an online sale this was just a little berry basket with these five shaker style clothespins. These are early clothespins. This one had a little split in it, which happens sometimes. But um, these five pins ranged in size, I think they were about three and three quarter inches long to, five, to four and five eighths inches long. Those are kind of hard to get a hold of, those early clothespins like that. And that whole set sold for $16 from my online store. And this is a plank sign that had the lava soap advertisement there. Real cute piece that would look real good in your laundry room as a display piece. And that sold for $13. This is an expandable wall rack that had the brass tip. Sometimes they have porcelain. This one had brass. And that, uh, you know, you hang your cat hats or lightweight coats on them. And they that sold for $15. This was a shop sale only item. In other words, I wouldn't have shipped this because of the weight. But this is a 12-inch high primitive wood bucket that had your, it was a large bucket, it was 12 inches high, like I said, and it had its original green paint, very attractive, very desirable. That one sold for $69. Now this was an applique that would have, the, the fan, the silk Victorian uh, fan piece there was an applique piece that would have been used probably on a quilt maybe. Um, sometimes you get those pieces like that which were never assembled and in this case it was put into a frame, an oval frame there and that sold for $20. Now this was a little granite berry pail five inches tall. The added aluminum, aluminum lid there and that one sold for $15. Now this is just an early shop counter or counter brush, something you would clean off a shop counter with. Horsehair, uh, it did have, you know, the writing there, 100% hair on it. Green painted wood handle, that piece sold for $9. This was one of those little looped mats again. I've shown these so many times because I sell so many. But this one was a square one, which was just five and a quarter inches square. So that made it a little more unusual. Black is another harder to get collar for them. And that one sold for $12. And this was another online sale. This is an early wood fishing tackle. They call them pencil bobbers or floats. 
You can see the early green and yellow paint there. And the reason they call it a pencil bobber is because this part looks a little bit like a pencil, I guess. And that's over $9 online. Another online sale was this granite mug. And this was one of those mottled gray granite ware mugs that was a one and a half cup size. That one sold online for $8. And then this was a funky, I guess, that's what I'm calling it, a funky necklace, metal and glass balls there. Real cute, $7. And a hat stand that had your gold decorated detail around the bottom, this was wood. A lot of people use these for display in their shops if they're dealers. And this one sold for $10. Another beater. This one looks more like a bed spray. And that uh, has the wood handle there. Another way to whip up your batter. And that one would did sell for $10. Now this was also an online sale. This is... Um, an early 1900 St. Patrick's Day postcard. And that did sell for $6 online. And then I did sell this Tollware dome top um, little chest there. I did show a video in a while back on my Tollware collection. This was one that I had for sale. That one was from the 19th century, it has the drop down latch there and the nice painted decoration on the front and that one sold for $59. And that brings us back to the beginning which concludes what's been selling uh, for February 2017. But before I close, I'd like to direct your attention to the description of this video where you can find links to my online store, which is where we see this particular album, as well as my featured items. And those featured items sometimes are in my shop and sometimes there's a few there that are in my online store. There will also be a link to my online store. And so I would invite you to check that out. I sell antiques and vintage items there. And also, if you see anything that you're interested in, it can be transferred to my online store for online purchasing. Also, let me um, invite you to visit my antique booth if you're ever in the Hagerstown, Maryland area. My antique booth is located in Antique Crossroads. It's a large one-level mall, and my booth is on the left side of that mall third row. I have a big vintage touch antique sign that hangs in the back of my double space booth. And of course, let me invite you to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done that already, I would just love to have you as part of my viewing community. And I would love to have you just uh, click the, on that notification bell so you don't have to miss any of my videos. And there's a, I have a wide range of videos that are antique related in different playlists. So I'm hoping that you will enjoy that and subscribe. And then finally, before I close, let me remind you and encourage you in your collecting of antiques and to learn the history of them because when you own an antique, you own a piece of history. So bye-bye till next time.